I'm Jonathan, and in this video, we're going to be learning about how to use one of my favorite features in iPhoto, Smart Albums. If you've been following along with our previous videos, Faces, and Keywords, that work that you've done is really going to pay off now, because Smart Albums allow us to sort of photos based on certain conditions, like who's in a photo or what date it was taken. To follow along with this video, you're going to need a copy of iLife 2011, any Mac, and a collection of photos. If you have an older version of iPhoto, you can benefit from watching this video as well, as the Smart Albums feature has been consistent over the last few versions. For this video, I'm going to show you three different examples of Smart Albums you can create, but don't limit yourself to just those. If you explore the Smart Albums feature, you'll see there's lots of sorting options for you to choose from. But come on, let me show you. To create a Smart Album, I'm going to go up to the very top left corner of the screen where it says File, and choose New Smart Album. In the window that appears, I can first give my album a name. So I'm going to name this Jonathan on Vacation. Next, I'm going to go down here where I can set the conditions that photos need to meet in order to show up in the album. I want to make sure I only find photos of me, so I'm going to change this from Album to Face. This is where all that work we did in the Faces video is really going to pay off. I can add my name over here, and this will ensure that my album only includes pictures that have me in them. I also want to make sure that the photos all happened during my vacation, which happened in March of 2010. So I'm going to click the plus sign on the right hand side to add another condition. I'm going to change this condition to date, and I'm going to make it a range. I'm going to set my date as March 1st, 2010, to April 1st. 2010. If I click OK, I'll have a new album that only features photos of me that occurred in that date range. But I was lucky enough to go on two vacations that summer, and I want to include photos from that as well. So I'm going to modify the Smart Album I just made. I'm going to go over to the left. You'll see under Albums the Smart Album that I created. I'm going to go up to File and choose Edit Smart Album. That'll bring up that menu again, and I can make changes. This time, I'm going to change the date range to cover most of the summer. So I'm going to change this date to August 1st, and click OK. You'll see the Smart Album automatically populated with new photos that were also in that date range. The neat thing about Smart Albums is that if I add more photos down the line that meet the conditions that I set, they'll automatically appear in that album without me having to do anything. Let me show you another example of a Smart Album you can create. In a previous video, we showed you how to use keywords to mark photos that have pictures of your pets. I want to create a Smart Album right now that will gather all the photos of my dogs Maxine and Connor and sort them for me automatically. I'm going to go back up to File and choose New Smart Album. I'm going to change the name to Maxine and Connor. In a previous video, we showed you how to use keywords to tag photos of your pets, and that's going to pay off right now. I'm going to set the condition that photos with the keyword Connor automatically will appear in this album. But I also tagged photos of my dog Maxine, and I want to make sure she shows up as well. So I'm going to go over to the plus sign, adding a new condition, also make sure that's keyword, and I'm going to add Maxine. Now if I click OK right now, I'm going to get a new Smart Album, but I'm only showing one photo. I know I have lots of pictures of my dogs. The reason is, is that this is the only picture I have that has both Maxine and Connor in the picture. I wanted any picture that had Maxine or Connor and both of them. Let me show you how to change that. I'm going to go back over to my album, go to File, and edit the Smart Album I created. Right up at the top here, it says match all following conditions. What this is saying is that in order for a photo to show up, it has to contain all of the conditions in all of the photos. So for instance, this photo had both Connor and Maxine tagged in it, and therefore it was the only one to show up. I want to change this from all to any. What that is telling iPhoto is that I want any photo that has a picture of Connor in it, and any photo that has a picture of Maxine in it, or any combination of the two. If I click OK to update that, you'll see that the rest of the photos show up, just like I wanted. If I add more photos of Connor and Maxine and tag them later, they'll automatically move into this album. 
A few years ago, I was a creative at one of the Apple stores, and I had a couple that came in that were both avid photographers, and they would always get into fights over who took which photo that was in their iPhoto library. To settle the fight, I came up with an interesting idea of how we could use smart albums to sort out whose photo was who. Let me show you how. You see, with this couple, the husband and wife used different cameras, which allowed us to use smart albums to end their fights once and forever. Let me show you how. I'm going to go up to the File menu and say New Smart Album. If I want to make sure I only collect photos that were taken with an iPhone, I can create an album like this. I'm going to call this album iPhone Pictures. Under Conditions, from the menu, I can choose Camera Model. iPhoto is then going to give me a list of all the different cameras that have been used to take photos that are in this library. I'm going to add Apple's iPhone to this Smart Album. I also want to include photos that are taken with the new iPhone 4, so I'm going to click on the plus sign and add camera model iPhone 4 to the list. Since I want photos that were taken with either of these cameras, I'm going to change it from match all to match any and click OK. Now iPhoto is just going to show me the photos that are taken with that particular camera. We were able to create a smart album that sorted all the photos from either the wife's camera or the husband's camera, so it was no longer a fight over who took which picture. So as you can see, smart albums are an incredibly powerful way of organizing your photos. But don't limit yourself to just the examples I showed you. Go back and explore smart albums and find the different ways that you can automatically sort your photos. If you enjoyed this video, please leave us a comment. If you'd like to see videos on other topics, send me an email.